Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood. Thanks for joining me for another Tip Tuesday. Last week, we took a look at the improved sharpening inside of Lightroom 3 and Adobe Camera Raw 6. Today, we're going to jump back into Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to make a quick image composite. Let's go ahead and take a look. You can see on the screen in front of you, I have two images. The image on the left has a nice harbor scene, but I just don't like the overcast sky. The image to the right has a much improved blue sky, and I'll make my composite with these two images. I'll start by using the Move tool. I'm just going to drag the blue sky picture over the harbor to start the composite work. Now I'll go ahead and change my view. I'm going to rearrange the screen to make things a little bit easier for you to see. Open up the layers panel and I want you to see that indeed the blue sky is above the harbor scene. Now I'm going to move this into place, but to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to reduce the opacity of the sky layer. I'll simply press the number 5 on my numeric keypad. That gives me 50% opacity. And now I can go ahead and move this into place. So I think right about here is going to do pretty good. So once I have it lined up, I'll change the opacity back to 100 by pressing 0 on the number pad. And I need to change the order of the layers. To do this, I'll unlock the background layer by Option or Alt double clicking. That bypasses the dialog prompt. And I'll just simply drag the layer to change the order. Now, I'm going to use the blue sky that's in that countryside picture to make a better composite image. I could use a layer mask, I could do a clipping path, and a bunch of other fancy, non-destructive edits to really make my composite image. But sometimes it's okay to be destructive. Sometimes the best tool for the job is simply an eraser tool, and that's what I'm going to use today. So if we take a look, I'm going to go to my eraser tool group, and I want you to see that grouped with the eraser tool is the magic eraser. And there's also something called the background eraser. So this is what I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab the background eraser. And I'm going to make sure that I set its property to sampling equals once. The reason for this is if you look very closely at the brush, there's a crosshair in the middle. And if I set sampling to once, it means whatever's immediately underneath that crosshair is what's going to be the erased color. The reason I want to use the background eraser, if we zoom in, you can see in the masthead, there's lots of lines for the sails. And I just, I'd rather not erase these or have those go away if I can help it. So the background eraser is going to help with this. You can see in one fell swoop, I'm just going to press and hold the mouse and start erasing the scene. Notice I can erase over the building. I can erase through the boat. I can erase through the sky. And it takes just a couple passes. And now I have the blue sky. This is before and this is after. It only took a couple of seconds. I think that's pretty amazing. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. If we talk about the areas in the mastheads, I can still erase here. I can do this by notice the crosshair is right there. I'm right by the people's head. And I can just press and erase. And look at how clean that is and taking all that out. Hey, it does a really good job of taking all that out. Hey, I can erase right through there. No problem. It does a great job. So sometimes using a destructive tool is OK. I'm AJ Wood. Appreciate you tuning in. Join me next week. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much.